Hey y'all, welcome back to Let's Play East 6. Uh, last time we got to Limewater Cave after taking care of some stuff in the overworld. And this time, we are not actually going to start Limewater Cave. I kind of already did, but I only did some grinding in the early parts of the dungeon as a means of trying to get some stuff early. Um... So yeah, for Limewater Cave, you actually need to get a really good item. I went the wrong way. You need to buy. You need to buy an item from the shop. A really good item from the shop, should I mention? And that item would be the last time we haven't bought from there yet, which is the, uh, Silver Armlet. This item prevents you from being poisoned. And in Limewater Cave, and for buying all her items, you will get Rose's Influence. As such, you'll get 1.5 times the amount for everything you can sell. On everything you sell. Um, and next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to... Upgrade my swords, so you'll see this. I probably shouldn't have to temper these things on screen anymore, and I'm probably not from this point forward. So, um, yeah, gonna go ahead and upgrade the Brilliance and the Livert. So we're heading to the Limewater Cave. And this dungeon is confusing as hell. But, I think I've mapped it out somewhat. Um, forgive me, I may, this map may not be accurate, but I kinda drew a map. It's been like, uh, I don't know, three or four days since I recorded left. Um, a few things. Uh, make sure you go about and you change your equipment up a little bit. I don't need the blood nails right now as much as I like it. I think I want to switch to the Emil Mallet. And yeah, this is a thing. I've always found the Flame Sword tends to be the best one, but I'm probably wrong here. Except in most cases specific things, but whatever. Currently, I am level... Where am I currently? Level 33 currently. Nice. And the next place I want to go is... Well, one thing I want to do is actually get enough to upgrade my... My Brilliant. Which, this dungeon, you should probably get a lot of stuff. I mean, this dungeon's pretty... Right, so I want to go out this way, I think. Let me keep my phone. I got my map on my phone. That I made. 100%. want to go out this way. This might seem a bit confusing. This dungeon is not well designed at all. This is, without a doubt, my least favorite dungeon in the game. A lot of people will tell you Ruins of Lost Time, and that's probably the only people who've really played the PS2 version, to tell you the truth. Because I've never really had much, I never, I didn't have much issue with it this time, so I think maybe, maybe the Ruins of Lost Time isn't too bad. There we go. So I'm just making sure I can still dash jump. I can. Cool. I mean, I'm not like... I'm not using any mods or anything for that. Some people will just install some sort of mod. I actually know how to dash jump. Not to brag or anything. But I do. Okay, next up. Am I in the right place? 
This leads to what I think it is. It should be a... Yeah, I'm in the right place. Cool. Okay, I was just making sure. I mean, I drew this map, so if it's wrong, it's my fault. I had to, like, go through this dungeon, like, seven times to even figure this out, so I'm just confused. I mean, hey, if I mapped it out perfectly, then cool, good for me. No, there's nothing up there. I thought so. I think I made sure to, like, kind of note where all the items were. I wrote down what each item is, too. And whether or not I need a dash jump to get to it. So... I should be okay. Let's see what's here. I got some uh, extra honeys, cause, well... I mean, I need to heal. And Limewater Cave isn't that good of a dungeon. Okay. Okay, so far, I think we're... We're good. Yes, we're gonna go up here. And this is the reason why you need the poison thingy, what I think about it. Yes, what I'm coming up to is why I needed that. In this area... Is... I believe... This guy will die. Well, I thought it was. Yeah, okay, cool. It's... I keep going around, yeah. So, but that item right there, that chest right there, it should be. I'm really not going about this the best way. This dungeon, like, so, god damn, I hate it. This is the worst part of the game for sure. Already seven minutes in, we haven't even done much here. But here we go, this way. Here we are, and in here is the Galba armor. This armor is really good. Uh, the downside to it now is it will poison the wearer, and that is why I bought that thing from the shop. So equip that, and equip the poison thingy. Jesus Christ. Next up, what am I going to want to do? I want to go this way. And in here is the Gaba Shield. So that gives me... Let's go ahead and equip that as well. Nope, I'm good. Which is nice. So now we got to do... Okay. It's to level 33, yep. Cool. 
next up. I think we want to head out back the normal route. Okay, guys, get out of my way. You know, I hate how these things can just touch you and curse you the second they touch you. But, eh, whatever. Annoying to dungeon is annoying dungeon. What can I do? Next up, we want to... Did that, I guess. Head down this way. And right down here. Should be... Perhaps. Am I going the right way? Probably. It's up here. I think. Nope, down here. And right up here is... Right down here should be a little bit more down, I think, actually. Right, here we are. Cool. Herb. Yeah, sorry if this is one of those over here, this way kind of parts, but really, it's such a bad layout. I'm probably not even going about this the best way I possibly could. I tend to know this game really well, but Limewater Cave... My God. I don't know what they were thinking when they designed it, but... They really didn't do a good job with it at all. Oh, there's confusion. And just all these status ailments to go along with the fact it's such a confusing dungeon. Like, I don't know why they thought it was a good idea, but they did. And they may designed it, so I can't really tell you why they did that. Oh, come on, thank you. Next thing I want to do is I want to find another thing. My phone would not lock up every five seconds. I'm pretty sure I'd be in a good place. Anyway, where am I? Up here, maybe? Where's the down? I'm gonna head over to the next area. Up here. Okay, I'm wandering. Wanderers of East. Am I right? It should have been in here. Up, up, up here. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Cool. Here's where I'm gonna go. This is the way. Wild found me just up there. Cool. And then this way, there should be... I need a dash jump here. So like I said, everything when it comes to dash jumping is... optional. So if... Well, wait, no, not here. You don't need a dash jump here. Never mind. Frick. Got it. Okay, let's get in here. And we should be in another room. About to enter a room where you're gonna wanna... Up ahead there's gonna be a room with enemies I cannot kill yet. Well, I could kill them, but I'm not going to... Not until I get to the midpoint. Anyway. Ah, yeah, okay, never mind. 
Think about something else entirely. Do a jump down there. And then here. Jump up there. Don't worry, you cannot kill these bats now. So don't try to. Keep recovering. Gotta get them chasing after you. And then go in here. Phew. I obtained the gold tabula. That should conclude the first half of this dungeon. Thank God. What do you think? Make sure I didn't miss anything that I did not. Cool, we're good. So get the hell out of here as quickly as possible before the bats kill you. And then we're going to try and get back to the... Luckily, the midpoint is just up ahead. But, the only way to get across here is to, well, dash jump. We're gonna go down. Oh yeah, I know where this is. Cool. I think I know where this is, anyway. Do I have an item that can, like, Prevent curses? Probably. Prevents heavy. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and equip it, and let's go to equip. I go up here. Oh, and there's an herb in there, which gives you two herbs. Next up. I wanna head this way, I believe. After I get confused. God dang it. Frickin'. There's also a tabula that prevents confusion, but... Okay, now I need to head up. Now I need to go. God. I'm really sorry if this video is, like, you know, not the most entertaining, but we are really dealing with a freaking bad dungeon here. You know, when I come to Let's Playing This Game, this was the part I was dreading the most. Now, I have people tell me that, you know, the ruins of Lost Time are the worst part, but I... I didn't have as much trouble with the, the ruins the last time as I had with this part. And when I first played. And I still have trouble with it even to this day. And that's why I dread this area so much. It's just like, okay. Um So that's so it's just like, yeah, people tell you the ruins of last time is bad, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm at the midpoint. I wanna work back to Point Ridgemore. I'm going to go to the planes real quick. And I want to upgrade my sword again. There we go. That's what I want to do. Still trying to make sure I got it in me. I haven't been doing as well at it, even though I can't use my sword in this town. Uh, upgrade your fire sword, I think. The brilliant. Okay. And now we got an optional boss we need to go. We need, no, not an optional boss. This boss is actually required. But it's not optional. It's near Grand Valis Mountain. You want to go to the entrance. Grand Valis Mountain. Grand Valis Mountain. Kana Plains. And I want to head down here. Cool. Definitely splitting this into two parts. Over here. 
Cool. These guys can't even hurt me anymore. I don't know why they're even chasing me, for that matter. See, that guy just died by touching me. Um, before you fight these bosses, I always recommend... Uh, you don't need to... You're not in Lime Ladder Cave right now, so equip the Bloody Nail. Not that I think you really need it anymore. And here we got an optional boss. Kind... Well, not optional, but not in a good place kind of boss, I think. But with your Fire Sword, this thing should be pretty easy to take out. If you need to heal, just... Use your... Of course... And I die. Jesus Christ, my neighbor's moving shit around. I kinda miss when I didn't have an upstairs neighbor for a bit, but oh well. Cause these guys move stuff. I mean, the other upstairs neighbor was actually one of my coworkers as well, and she was awesome. So her and I were on pretty good terms, so. I'm always like, not as bad as the guy I had in, who sang Can You Feel the Love Tonight All Night, but was actually a homophobe, ironic speaking. I had a neighbor in college who was actually a homophobe who liked to sing Can You Feel the Love Tonight. I, it was the most ironic thing I've ever seen in my life. God dang. Okay, I tell ya. Frickin'! Well, actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna try- I'm gonna switch to the wild foul, mate. Which I can actually afford those. I might buy some before I re-enter the Lime Water Cave and shit. When you're literally one HP away from beating a boss, and then they like freaking kill you. God dang it. And of course, you know, he goes heavying me. Like all these frickers do. Got ya. And when you do that, a chest will spawn. And you'll get the bell of silence. I mean, shut up. Welcome back to the midpoint of Lime Water Cave. Nice. Here at the midpoint, I am going to save. And I am going to end the video off here. I know this is weird in the middle of a dungeon. It's because things are so confusing and I haven't been doing so well that I kind of want to split this dungeon into two parts. So next time on Let's Play E6, we will finish up this dungeon. I will see you guys.